Right now, I am at the world's largest truck stop. We're gonna figure out just what the biggest truck stop in the world looks like. Showers, a theater, and even a barber. So. I thought I had a collection of weird cars. I mean, these aren't even that weird. They're just insane. Hello and good morning from sunny Iowa. Right now, I am at the world's largest truck stop here in Walcott, just 15 miles outside of Davenport. For the last few days, we've been having thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings here in Iowa, so I've been holed up in a hotel and I'm finally making my trip back, but this stop has been on my list to visit, believe it or not. We're gonna figure out just what the biggest truck stop in the world looks like. Oh, and did I mention we're gonna be here for 24 hours? Right now, we have a time of 8.04 a.m. and it's a swift 42 degrees Fahrenheit outside. The weather here has been absolutely bipolar. I've seen anywhere from 90 and now the lowest is 42. So it's tornado season, baby. But first, I need coffee and breakfast. Insane. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. Do I buy this first and then fill it up with coffee, or? Um, if you buy it, it's free. Free? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Lots of decisions here. Every type of fruit for yogurt you could ever want. Blueberry yogurt. Deviled eggs, dirt cups with gummy worms. I've got it all. Uh, I grab these two things for me too. Have a good day. All right, thanks. You too. This place is huge. So it's pretty obvious this is the largest truck stop in the world but how big is the largest truck stop in the world? 220 acres is the amount of land that this place is on. The building that I'm in right now is just over 67,000 square feet and houses 450 employees. Oh, there's a cup on top here. Pull this up, dump it in. It's early, okay? My bad. As you can tell, there's a lot of food options here. They have Caribou and Einstein. They got Dairy Queen, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and Wendy's. And they also have their very own buffet down that way, which we're definitely gonna explore later, but I'm a light breakfast kind of guy, so I'm gonna try out a yogurt parfait and a fresh fruit cup, because you can really tell a lot about a gas station or a truck stop by how fresh their fruit is. We're gonna rate the fruit cup here. All right, the yogurt was good, the fruit was great, and the coffee is adequate. It's like a, we'll give it a seven out of 10. Seven and a half. Eh, I feel like it's low. Seven and a half out of 10, final answer. I did see that the wind picked up and I am worried about something falling on my truck over here. So we're gonna see if we can't find ourselves a better parking spot. Let's see if we can't scout where we're gonna sleep tonight. This doesn't really look too much better. We got the truck parked. Moved to a little bit of a safer location. Now it's time to do some exploring. So not only do they have a giant food section for snacks and everything, but of course they have merchandise and clothes. Got some fish flops. They've got trophy trucks just hanging out. 
in here. This is a 1947 power wagon that's been modified. So sick. I don't even got a trucking museum. I'm gonna go check that out later. You ever needed yourself a wolf t-shirt? They've got a whole lot of them. Wolf hoodies. Whatever the heck's going on here. But I think this one, this one might take the cake. Of course, they only have three X left. Come on now. And even if you've got babies or children, they've got uh, stuff for them here as well. More onesies than you know what to do with. And then just right down the alley from the merchandise, they have a whole kit of toys. Toys, toys, toys. You ever wanted a watermelon pig purse for your daughter or son? There you go. And all of these names on cars, and I can guarantee you, there's not one with mine on it. Let's look. This would be the one that I'd get. Just M. Or actually that one, L. That's what I took right now. I mean, they really do have everything here. Wrist rockets, giraffes with sweaters. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier because I didn't know, but there's actually two floors, including showers, a theater, and even a barber. So let's go check out upstairs. They have a chiropractor here. Could use that one on the road. What a full blown laundromat. I just did my laundry last night or else I'd be in here. We've got a full blown barber shop. Should I give him a haircut? Ah. So we meet again. really wasn't much into cardio. I used to go to the gym like three times a week. And ever since Japan, I've been a bad man. No. All right, and now that I've got myself all sweaty, I could probably use a shower. Oh, wait, what? They have a dentist here? Okay, I gotta know. What does is, what is a truck stop dentist place look like? This is my first time here. It's like a regular den dentist office? Yeah, just regular dentist office. So just take walk-ins, like people don't really, yeah? Yeah. Lo Fil local people, over-the-road drivers, basically just pull teeth out here. That's awesome. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. You're Have welcome. a good day. I don't know if I'm trying to get my teeth work done at a truck stop, but probably qualified, right? Hi there. Hello. I'm hoping to get a token for the shower. It'd be $16, 16 16 Okay, thank you. Yeah, Is that... Okay, and is there towels and everything yes, up there? Yes, everything's already inside. Beautiful, thank you. Soap, soap and everything too? Yes. Cool, thank you. So we're driver number 164. Gotta go to shower two. Apparently I need help. Oh, yeah. it's making a noise. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. This is a nice, nice bathroom. So this is what the showers look like here. You get your own lockable room, a little wooden bench, toilet. Nice rocks on the wall. And then you got a giant shower. Is there water pressure? Oh yeah. All right, the rest is, uh, you can't, you can't see it, so. Here. It is pretty nice that they have their own towels though. I'll clean. My hair's getting a little moppy and it grows really fast. Like I get a haircut every month and I know usually I let it grow out, but I think I need to see what this uh, truck stop barbershop is all about. Um, what are we gonna do for it, yeah? Basically, I just need to get it short done. So when's the last time you got a haircut? Like a month and a half ago. Okay. All right, got a fresh haircut. What do you think, it look good? All that haircutting and showering and working out made me want to get some lunch. So let's go ahead and check out the restaurant.
Oh, it's fake. <laughs> All right, on second thought, I'm gonna be getting the restaurant tonight, so I'm gonna grab myself a light lunch, a little cheeseburger action. Did I do a bacon eater? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. What the heck? Not only do they have a full arcade in here, but they got the important stuff. A full-on auto shop oriented towards truckers. Let's see if we can find some fun stuff in here. Fun little portable cookers. Every charging cord or phone holder that you could possibly ever want. A full display case of sunglasses. Steering wheel covers. License plate holders. I mean, they got it all, man. Shout out Mr. Danny Duncan and Harambe. Probably should get that for the front of my truck. Holy cow. And then they got a spinning floor here with the Peterbilt just sitting on it. It's definitely the most extensive truck part store that I've ever seen. All right, now we're walking across the trucker side of the lot to find the trucking museum. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So here we are at the trucking museum that they have here at I-80. That's a pretty truck. Look at the wheels on this one. A Dodge Power Wagon. That's the dream right there. This thing is so sick. Sick. Oh my gosh. Come on. I want that so bad. Oh my gosh, it's a Jeep J10 Golden Eagle. Okay, I changed my mind. That That's the dream truck right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a look at this thing. This is a 1930 Ford snowmobile. Somehow this thing actually goes up to 40 miles an hour. Pretty rad. And I thought I had a collection of weird cars. I mean, these aren't even that weird. They're just insane. So cool. They've got amazing trucks in here, old signs, gas pumps. I mean, like what? what is this? A half ton delivery truck from 1918, completely restored. I don't even know where you'd go, like, look at something like this other than here. This is crazy. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Ooh. I think we'll go with uh, number 31. 31? Yeah. Wait, yeah, no worries. Thank you. And of course, there's a lot of modern trucks here. I'd say there's gotta be at least 150. Can I have a little place to order to go? Yeah, All right. We'll Thank you. you. All right, so inside the restaurant here, they've got a full buffet, big fireplace, and even have enough room to fit another truck. I'm a little antisocial right now, so we're gonna be bringing our meal back to the truck. I was gonna try to cook something with some ingredients from this truck stop, but not only is there not much around, I'm being honest, I'm feeling kind of lazy today. It's kind of nice to have somebody else cook for me. Hi. Hi. Just this. See? Okay, thank you. Sometimes in life of the road, it can be hard to make sure I get the right nutrition. But the choice doesn't have to be so difficult, thanks to the sponsor of this video, AG1. Finding nutrition while you're on the road can be tough. 
And Lord knows, when I'm on the road, it's tough to find a routine. But one thing I haven't been taking lightly is my immune system. And I've been trying my hardest to take my vitamins every single day, but it's never been easier than it has been with AG1. It's a nutritional drink that replaces key health products in just one simple scoop. It combines nine health products working together as one, replacing your multivitamin, multiminerals, pre and probiotics, immunity support, and more. That means you don't need all that. In the long run, it saves you time and money, which I like. This powder is made up of 75 of the highest quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients in the world. It's manufactured to the strictest quality standards. Timely habit and essential daily routines like AG1 help us move in a healthy direction and your body will thank you later. This offer includes a free year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase using the link in the description below. Check out AG1 today in the link down below in the description. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the prepaid programming. All right, welcome back to the truck bed. All right guys, so this is my truck stop haul. I got a pork cutlet sandwich because apparently, apparently this is the deal. This is what you're supposed to get at this truck stop. It's their specialty. Kind of wondering if I should have got some sauce for it. But here we are. We got tots, of course, and a side of broccoli. I just completely breezed over these pickles. I'm pretty sure these are homemade. Yeah, those are homemade like dill pickles. They taste great. These tater tots, nice and crisp. And this pork also looks nice and crispy. What do you think? You want a bite? You want a bite? You hungry? It's too bad. Get your own food. Yeah, that's good. This thing just be steaming. It is 40 degrees outside right now. And dropping. It's actually supposed to get up to 27 degrees by the morning, so it may or may not be a night for Mr. Diesel. Mr. Diesel heater. Hmm. It is 8 p.m. It's officially been 12 hours here at the truck stop. I'm gonna wrap up my evening by going to check out the movie theater upstairs. It's kind of weird. Stuff definitely slowed down here inside I-80. It's officially 10 o'clock and it's about my bedtime. We're gonna find our way to the truck and get some shut eye. Home, sweet home. Try to turn the diesel heater on right now. Make sure my carbon monoxide detector's on. Oh. It's not because it's missing a battery. 38 degrees right now. It's supposed to get down to 27 by morning. But we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, that's a chilly bed. All right, well, 14 hours down, 10 to go. See you in the morning. Good morning from sunny Iowa. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Somehow it's still only 28 degrees outside, but I'm sure that sun's gonna warm it up. I don't think I'm gonna be wanting fuzzy pants on today. That's right, I got myself a new pin. We 
We've made it 24 hours. It is officially 9.18. I do realize that this video, it's a little silly. It's a silly idea, but you know, life's a little silly sometimes and I enjoyed it. And who knows, maybe one day I'll make it back to this truck stop and I'll have a story to tell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it inspires you to get on the road and do something today yourself. But thanks for watching. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Let's keep on trucking.